Hi everyone. I'm here today with a haul. <laughs> I haven't had done a haul video in a very, very long time. Um, that's because I haven't really spent a whole bunch of money. So, I, um, I was watching Secret Soto doing her uh, skins, her acrylic skins. And I thought I would buy some pouring medium. So after I'd done some, after I saw her video, I went and I did, did some investigation on YouTube for making skins. And they were using a pouring medium. I don't know what kind of medium she, uh, Secret Soda was using. She used something. I'm not sure what that was. Anyways, I got this pouring medium so that I could try making uh, some acrylic skins. So that's why I got that. Um, and Liquitex was the only one I could find on Amazon.ca. So that's what I got. And I thought this was kind of neat. Um, as I was looking for uh, different mediums, I found this TriArt. Uh, it's a first finest quality level professional. Um, this is a portrait tone. And because I do faces quite a bit, I thought I would try it. Um, Of course, Amazon didn't give me the price of what I paid for this, but I can tell you it was really cheap. For 8.45 8 fluid ounces of acrylic paint, that's unbelievable. I mean, I don't usually buy 8 ounce of anything <laughs> other than uh, matte medium or, you know what I mean, uh, as far as paints go. I, I don't buy like 8 ounce paints usually. So, but I did it in this because I wanted to give it a try. They didn't have really anything smaller. I wish that they would have had like a sample size or anything, you know, that would have been smaller than eight ounces because if I don't like this, that's not much good to me. But it was cheap. So, I got that. And then, because I don't have any, uh, very little, uh, molding paste. Um, let me see here. I just want to see what how much I've got left. There's molding paste and light molding paste, and I think. Oh, I can't even open this. My thumbs are bad. Oh, see, I didn't check. That one's pretty much full. That's the light one, though. And <clears throat> this one here, I think, is almost gone. This is the molding paste. Yeah, it's just about done. So um, I thought, well, golden kills me in price. I just can't, I can't really afford that. So I got modeling paste. I don't know what the difference is. Molding paste, modeling paste. People have, you know, referred to it in both ways. So. This one here is TriArt again. This one's, I believe this one's the white one. Uh, to create textured backgrounds, it says, dry, dries matte, opaque, uh, and evenly white. Yeah, may be tinted with color prior to application. Best applied with spreading tools. Okay, so this is like the modeling paste, it's going to be white. This one here, they, because they didn't have a smaller size, this is 33.8 ounces, if you can imagine that. This is clear modeling paste. Uh, used to create textured grounds. Dries matte and translucent with reduced clarity. May be colored prior to application. Best applied with spreading tools to achieve crisp peaks and impostal textures. Extremely hard in consistency and may be sanded. See, I would be very careful to not make sure that I did not have this with 
really pokey peaks because uh, I did that in one of my other journals and really it almost hurts. You could almost rip your hand apart rubbing across the page. So I think I would use this the same like through a stencil and, and using a card uh, uh, to take it off because I wouldn't want it to be <clears throat> yeah that would be that could be bad <laughs> but it's clear and I can mix it that will last me probably for the next two years or so and because I am doing uh, the Donna Downey um, um, what are they called she used to have Donna Downey Wednesday um, on YouTube and um, I've signed up on her on her website to uh, carry on with that I really I really enjoy Donna Downey um, I love I love her her way of arting and yeah so I ordered um, some of her stamps I don't order stamps very often but I did order these uh, only because of the sayings on them. Um, this one here is Empowered Words. Uh, don't be pushed by your problems. Be led by your dreams. See, that's, that's awesome. And um, believe that you can and you will. Trust your heart to, um, to be strong. Live inspired. Um, let what you love be what you do uh, th like they're all like positive and this one here is much the same this is art and possibility uh, that's what these are called and um, one says art makes me happy another one is I am an artist embrace possibility know who you are be bold make art every day be true uh, forward motion inspire and create happy place do what do what makes you happy they're all these are all such great stamps and they are um, uh, they're already on cling so yes I'm going to enjoy those very very much and from quite a while ago most of you know that I am a jelly plate freak. Um, I think I was jelly plating. Was one of the first jelly platers <laughs> going. But you know, of course, uh, Patty Tully Paris. She's she is the queen. But I do have this is the new one I just got. It's the six inch round. I have. I've had for a long time the uh, this is the 8 by 10 and then the mumbo jumbo one which is and they're not saying I don't even know it doesn't say on here isn't that funny I just know it's 8 by 10 and I never can remember the size of this plate but I'll tell you in two seconds this one here is Um, it is about 14 and a half by 12, 14 by 12. So, and I don't know if they have another, a bigger one than this. I don't think they do. So anyways, I've got those and I've had sitting around and I haven't used it yet. Just have to grab it. If I remember where I put it, it's the four by five. The four by five. Anyways, I've got it. I put it away somewhere, and I don't remember where. <laughs> so I got that jelly plate, and then I was watching. Mm, I'll put it. I'll put it. 
on the screen right now because I can't remember her name and I'll link to her below and I'll also link Secret Soto's video below. Um, she was talking about these ultra fine tip applicator bottles. These are from Doris uh, Crafters Toolbox and I got these on Amazon and they're they're pretty cool. I bought four packages of them. <clears throat> these have these have these have the um, pin in them so they never clog. I love it. When I saw her showing that I knew that they're that they were on Amazon but I didn't know um, how well they worked. These are great. I, I can't wait to try them. Uh, you can put anything in here. You can put acrylic paint. Um, I think you can put ink. That might be leaky though. Like, uh, It does not say. It's an ultra fine tip but they don't say what size that tip is. So uh, but you get four in a package, so I've got all of these. I want to I want to make some drawing. Um, I want to draw with these, so like on my on my um, art pages. And then she also talked about these, but these are needle tip applicator bottles, and they're from Doris too. They're really inexpensive. Um, you have to cut this. And depending on, you've got to be really careful where you cut it. If you cut too low, you're going to have a really big, um, a big pour. Like when you go to squeeze it out, it's going to be big. If you are really careful and get it right at the, where the opening is, it's much better. So, um, oh, I wish I could, you know, I'm so bad at names, you guys, I hope you forgive me for that, but I will, I will put her name up because, um, I like to give credit where credit is due. And, um, what else do I have today? Oh, what I've been up to. Well, I just did a video in response to uh, Shannon Green's um, using Yes Paste and napkins. That was awesome. I, I love it, and I'll probably use that. I've got some things to show you. Here's a composition book. I belong to Tangi Baxter's uh, Art Journal Emporium. Um, she is an, an amazing digital and mixed media artist. Um, I love her downloads. I've always loved her downloads. I, I know you heard me say this before, but she's doing a workshop right now on, on her junk journal. So, um, I've got that pretty much done. And I'll put Tangie's link below as well you want to take a look at that. I mean her the downloads and you can use them in your art. I mean I've showed that to you guys like some of the uh, circles, uh, two inch circles that I got um, and that, that's what gave me the idea of using my own art and printing it out on two inch circles. Uh, Tanji is so smart. She, she is just the kindest sweet person and her mother is so talented as well. Uh, she does the the uh, girls. Gosh, they're awesome, and I've used them in um, in a journal in a box. In a, in a maybe one or two, uh, I think one. But anyways, uh, that's as far as we've got in the process. It only just started about a week ago, so I've got my journal pretty much done. I just have to use some stencils and some ink. And then that'll be ready. Um, I just finished up a series making this uh, 
as you, if you follow me you probably already have seen that but it's made from uh, chip chip books you know the uh, paint chip books so that's done and I just love the cover and I put wax on it and I've been waxing my pages with um, oh I got it over here in Canada we it's really I can get daddy vans but it costs thirty some dollars on Amazon.ca plus another fifteen dollars to ship that one thing so I'm using Dorland's wax and it seems to be working out really good for me so I've got that and I was busy I had some canvas fabric okay and I wanted to test this out because I wasn't sure if I gessoed it if it would hold its shape because it's really flimsy I'll show you a piece of it this is what I cut from I'm just pushing you out a little bit it's really as you can see it's really flimsy but after I put gesso on the on the inside and the outside wow it's just like yeah, it's like it's supposed to be <laughs> and these are cardstock pages and I made myself my own uh, Donna Downey journal <laughs> a little different than hers I don't have exactly the same uh, size of uh, in what are they called uh, inclusions but I wanted to make one just the same and I do think that for my purpose and she always tapes in the middle um, of her um, page and I'll probably do the same although I'm not using watercolor I'm using 110 pound cardstock so we'll see how that goes but if you're gessoing, she gessoes almost every page, except when she uses acrylic ground or, or something like that. Or not, not acrylic ground, I mean watercolor ground. <coughs> so, yeah, that was amazing. And I got those, um, this canvas, or canvas pieces. Um, just like roll ends or ends of from an Etsy seller quite a long time ago and I still have enough Gina to make the canvas bag I made sure that I've got enough for the inside for the lining and for the outside plus the pockets <coughs> I was waiting on the belting the belting finally got here and uh, I'm going to be making that pretty quick. So then there's that. Um, life cues. Well, I'm just, 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 just a bit. i got to show you. You saw this one with the hair loss. This one here I did, but I did it digitally. I did it in Photoshop. Yeah, it's not painted uh, really or anything. So, but that's okay. Uh, sometimes it's just easier for me to create that that way than you know to come down here into the basement and pull out all my supplies and yada yada yada. So that this one here was uh, week 23. In this moment, how do you feel? And I've got new music and outside enjoying the sun listening to music that's what hubby and I love to do the most on weekends uh, when he when he's not working that's what we love to do and down here is just a, a what it means being happy so I, I love this page this one here is um, week 24 what is your favorite flower well that poppy I took on my iPhone in growing in my yard we have poppies it says every year we have poppies that come up in the garden I love them and I do 
So that was my digital page. And I like it. Anyways, even though it's not painted, gessoed, or anything, it is, it is what it is. It's not three-dimensional. However, it looks really good. I like it. And week 25, have you ever met a kindred spirit? Well, <laughs> I said I may have met a kindred spirit years ago, but I just don't remember. So I guess I have to say no. I, I guess I have to say no. So, yeah. That was, that's all I've done in Life Cues. And um, I think I'm a, I'm a week behind now. <laughs> so, you know, I've got to do that. I'm going to sign off now. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye now.